In the aftermath of the global COVID lockdowns, more and more people are rediscovering the outdoorsy lifestyle. Now, Hyundai has answered this adventure trend with the introduction of the fifth generation Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, in this video, we will take a tour of the base spec Hyundai Santa Fe GLS two wheel drive to see if it can answer the call of the wild. Let's do this. There was a time when sexy and curvy crossovers were all the rage. This can be seen in the previous generations of the Santa Fe, but now, this mid-size SUV has fully embraced the boxy look. The 5th generation Hyundai Santa Fe has received a complete makeover and a fully loaded set of amenities, but thankfully, they still manage to keep the price relatively affordable. You see, this base-spec Hyundai Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive retails for only 2,410,000 Philippine pesos, which is practically a steal considering the amount of kit that you get. So, what exactly are we getting for the money? But before we find out, special thanks to Hyundai Manila Bay for providing the Santa Fe to do this car feature. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, first things first. When I first saw the 5th generation Hyundai Santa Fe, the image that came into my mind is that of a British off-roader. You see, you can't really fault Hyundai here because it seems that every SUV car maker and their mothers are all taking design inspiration from the OG SUV, which is the Land Rover Defender. Now, the 5th gen Hyundai Santa Fe that we have here has a truly boxy shape, similar to that of the Land Rover Defender, but the similarities end there. You see, this base spec Hyundai Santa Fe GLS comes with these really unique looking H shaped LED DRLs here found on the LED headlight units, and these H shaped logos are connected by this LED light bar found on the front nose. Now, that LED light bar kind of reminds me of the design of the Hyundai Staria and the smaller Stargazer. Now, if those H-shaped LED DRLs are not enough for you, well, we also have a huge H design right here on the front bumper itself, giving this Hyundai Santa Fe a truly unique look. Now, if you check out the side profile, you will truly see where Hyundai took the design inspiration for the Santa Fe is from. You see, we have a truly boxy shape here, pretty similar to the Land Rover Defender, and you can see that even this base trim GLS two-wheel drive has some pretty rugged vibes. That's because we have a really robust set of roof rails up top here. We have a generous serving of plastic cladding here at the bottom part. And we even have this front fender garnish here uh, that kind of yeah, spells the word Santa Fe. Now, we have a power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals and a heating function. And when you check out the wheels and tires, you'll notice that this base trim Santa Fe GLS is still rocking 20-inch alloy wheels. Oh yes, but that's not so bad for a base trim. Now, behind those wheels, we get premium mechanical bits. We get disc brakes on all four corners. And for the suspension, we have a MacPherson front suspension and multi-links at the back. Now, Hyundai also says that even this base trim uh, GLS two-wheel drive is equipped with performance dampers, although I have no idea how it will perform in our Philippine roads until I get a chance to actually drive this baby. So, yep, that's your cue to hit that subscribe button because that driving review video is coming out very, very soon. Now, as for the ground clearance, well, I was a bit taken aback by the ground clearance because, yeah, it stands at 177 millimeters, which is kind of on the low side for what is supposedly a go-anywhere SUV. Not that you'd be able to go anywhere with this base trim Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive because, well, as the name implies, two-wheel drive, we still have a front-wheel drive layout here. So this vehicle, my friends, is best used around town, in the city, on the highways, and at the very most, uh, like a light camping trail. Now anyway, if you're one of the people who is expecting to see a diesel engine under the hood, well, prepare to be disappointed because Hyundai decided to phase out the diesel engines for the fifth generation Santa Fe. Instead, we have gasoline and gasoline hybrid options for the Santa Fe, with this base spec GLS two-wheel drive getting a 2.5-liter 
inline four uh, naturally aspirated smart stream G gasoline engine. Uh, oh, that's a mouthful. Anyway, that, that can put out 197 PS and 246 Newton meters of torque. Now, the power is sent to, as I said, the front wheels uh, via an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, as for the other uh, driving information of this vehicle, like fuel economy, highway manners, acceleration, and whatnot, well, you'll have to click that subscribe button because as I said a while back, yeah, that driving video is going to come into my channel very, very soon. So yes, click that subscribe button so you'll be notified when that video comes out. When you pop inside the cabin of the base spec Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive, you will see a lot of Easter eggs here in the form of the H logo. Oh yes, <laughs> Hyundai went all out with the H logo here because you can see that in the stitches of the power black leather seats here. We have H stitch patterns here on the seat back. We also have an H pattern on the AC vents here. Yes, that's pretty cool. And even the ambient lighting that we have here in the cabin and the dashboard area, it is also in the shape of a letter H. I mean, yeah, <laughs> they have a <laughs> they have a really it's almost like a fetish for the letter H, you know? We have a lot of H um, design cues here inside. But anyway, as for the cabin itself, the cockpit itself, this base trim um, Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive has an executive flair here because we have an all black and aluminum um, color theme here. As I said, we have these uh, black leather seats here. We both have power adjustments, although we don't get the, um, the ventilation function, which can be found in the top spec calligraphy trim. Now we also have this leather wrap steering wheel here that of course adjusts for tilt and telescoping. And if you'll notice behind that steering wheel, we have the shifter, the gear shifter stock here, which has been placed there on the steering column in order to free up space here in your center tunnel. Now, since we don't have a shifter here in the center tunnel, uh, we now have a large um, yeah, storage area here, which actually is your wireless charging pad. Uh, you get one wireless charging pad here in this base spec Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive. Uh, but if you want two wireless charge pads, then you have to go up to the top spec trim. Not really a big deal because we do have a pair of USB Type-C charge uh, ports as well there to keep all your devices um, powered up. Now, we have a, a nice curved panel here, a curved panel. This is a first for the Santa Fe. We have a dual uh, display screens here. These are 12.3 inch uh, display screens. You've got your gauge cluster there in front of the steering wheel. And you also have a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system here, uh, which also has your wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and the image of your surround view monitor. Uh, which is uh, Hyundai Speak for a 360-degree view camera image. Uh, yeah, I said wireless. Um, not really sure though because this is just a quick unboxing video. Although because uh, the lower Hyundai models here in the Philippines have wireless CarPlay and uh, Android Auto capabilities, and I have no doubts that we have wireless capability here as well. Now, as for the safety bits, as you're seeing on your screen, even this base trim Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive comes with a full suite of advanced driver assist systems, including adaptive cruise control. Oh yes, finally, we have a Santa Fe that has adaptive cruise control here, and that is great news indeed. Now, um, other than that, we also have your usual um, automatic climate control system here. And if you look up, you will see one of two uh, sunroofs that even this base trim Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive gets. Now, uh, in terms of the, the cabin materials that they used, well, we have a lot of leather wrap material here. We have a pair of yeah, um, glove boxes here, one on top, one at the bottom part. Although, I don't think this has the, you know, the UV treatment tray thingamajig that the top spec trim gets. But at least we still get an additional uh, cubby space here at the middle dashboard. Uh, in terms of the fit and finish, yeah, it's a uh, typical Hyundai, which means that fit and finish is above average. It's already on the premium side. And in fact, yeah, this cabin area kind of 
reminds me of the same vibe that I got when I did my review of the Hyundai Palisade. Now, because the fifth generation Santa Fe has a really boxy shape, well, the benefit is felt right here in the second row seats. You see, we have a really wide and spacious seating area here such that you can put three average adults here in the second row and uh, it won't be a problem at all. As you can see, I'm 5'6 and I've got a ton of space here. So yes, the rides of the second row seats will be on the comfortable side. Now, as for the amenities, well, we do have a complete set here. We don't have ceiling mounted AC vents or even AC vents here in the center because the AC vents are found right here mounted on the B pillar. We also have a bunch of cup holders here and bottle holders. So you could really tell that the Santa Fe is meant for family outings and family drives because we have a center armrest here with a pair of cup holders. We have another pair of cup holders on the door cards for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six cup holders here in the second row seats. And we also have a pair of bottle holders also on the door cards. Now, we also have a large cubby right here in the center where you can put some knickknacks and stuff like that. And we also have a bi-directional opening center console here to allow you to access your stuff even from the back seat. Now, if you look at the design of this second row area, you'll see that Hyundai also continues with its fetish for the letter H because the AC vents are also in the shape of a letter H and even the seat backs of the front seats have uh, that H design um, right there, etched right there. Now, if you're looking for charge ports, we also have a pair of USB Type-C charge ports on these seat backs. And if you look up, you'll notice that we have a larger sunroof right there, the second of the two sunroofs found in this base spec Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive. Now, let's head over to the third row seats to see if it can accommodate um, regular size Asian adults. All right, so we're now here in the third row seats of the fifth gen Hyundai Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive. And the second row seat here in front of me has been adjusted such that there's still a comfortable amount of legroom for the second row passengers. And as you can see at five foot six, I got a lot of space here. I was truly taken aback and really, really surprised guys, because at five foot six, I still got an inch of knee room here and it doesn't feel claust claustrophobic because I have a good and whopping five inches of headroom here at the third row seats. I mean, this, my friends, is a mid-size SUV, but the third row of this baby right here feels like I'm at the third row of a minivan. It is that spacious and comfortable as well because we have a pair of AC vents here on the sides and we even have uh, blower controls and we also have a pair of USB Type-C charge ports. So even if you're relegated on the third row seats of the Hyundai Santa Fe on a long drive, you're not gonna have any issues if you are below six feet because yes this area yeah hyundai designed it really really well and yes i wouldn't mind spending time here during a long drive in the hyundai santa fe i mean yeah wow this is perfect for the family nice the rear end of the Hyundai Santa Fe has these H-shaped LED taillight units here that ties it together to the H-shaped LED DRLs that we found up front. Now, because this SUV has a really boxy shape, we also get a huge amount of real estate here in the middle part of the rear end, and Hyundai decided to fill that up with some really large Santa Fe lettering here, as well as this Hyundai logo right there. Now, despite being a base trim, this Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive also comes with a power liftgate. Right, there you go. We have a power liftgate here, and when you pop it open, you'll see that we have 725 liters of trunk space with the third row seats folded. Now, 725 liters is, yeah, it's one of the bigger ones in the midsize SUV category, and it's large enough to fit a medium sky travel luggage here, oh yes, and we could put maybe around five more medium sky travel luggage there for a total of six. Oh yes, six. It's really that big. I mean, I could even lie down right here in this, yeah, in this cargo area, and it won't be a problem at all. 
Now, if you're looking for the spare tire, you'll be happy to know that this base trim Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive has a full-size spare tire that can be found underneath the SUV. After taking this quick tour of the base trim Hyundai Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive, you can see that it is a very well-equipped SUV, even if it's just the base trim. The exterior design may look boxy and rugged, but the amenities and safety features of the Santa Fe GLS two-wheel drive means that it will be an ideal vehicle for city commutes. It is a promising vehicle indeed, but I can only render my full judgment when I get a chance to fully test it out. So, until then, thanks for watching.